Hello everybody and welcome to Bus Driver Simulator 18. So this is a brand new game, it's actually early access on Steam, I've just bought it for £7.20 and I just really wanted to have a look at it and see what it was like. This is not a sponsored video, I have actually paid for this and nobody has contacted me about doing it. So it does have a virtual reality mode if you want to use it, I obviously can't do. Um, so we're just going to go with the standard Windows edition. And I think really before we do anything we should just get straight into it because, well, the options are set, I've done that, and yeah, training I've done. So we're going to do this one, a simple day trip from the railway station to Lenin Square. It's lunchtime in a working day, which is why the bus is not full. The route goes along the Voroshilov Street. It contains very few turns. The goal is to collect absolutely no money at all. So it sounds like a very profitable day. Anyway, off we go. This is just so we can uh, get a feel of the game. Right, so here we go. I'm going to indicate first of all, start the engine by pressing R, Z to remove the handbrake, and let's just go to the very first place, which is the railway station. Now we should stay here for two minutes, otherwise we're going to mess up the rest of the schedule. So, railway station, here it is, the people are flocking towards us, look, they can't even wait. Ooh, there we go. Everybody in. You're going to be waiting a while anyway. Uh, we have two very confused people over here. Maybe if I roll forwards, it will uh, engage a few brain cells. Let's just see. This way, that's it. Controlling a person with a bus. And now they've seen the bus, and they are scared to death. So you wait there. We're going to move forward. We're going to go to the next... Oh, you want to come now, do you? You want to get on? Do you want to get on the bus? Probably because I shut the door, I suppose. Right, good. You just sit quietly. The next place is not here, but we're going to wait here. Like I said, we should just... Oh, he doesn't want to be seen. He's hiding his face. The next place is the driving school, but it is only 13.23, and we weren't due to leave here until 13.26. Uh, we will leave before then, just in case the traffic's bad, but we can't leave too early, because we will get a penalty. Basically, if you... Oh, that is a nice rug. A very nice rug. Basically, yes. If you if you run a red light, you lose 100 points. If you crash into somebody, you lose 200 points. And as far as I'm aware, if you're late for a, a place, or early, in fact, so you get uh, penalised as well if you're early, you lose 50 points. And we're going to leave here at 13.24 and then drive slowly. Because we're supposed to be here until 13.26. Alright, off we go. To indicate, you press Q if you want to go left, you press E if you want to go right. Hazard warning lights are control, left control. Uh, lights are L, as you can see, and uh, everything else uh, I think is fairly self-explanatory. You have to press tab to see exactly where to go to, always worth doing. We're going left here, so put the left indicator on, put the power brake on, it's a bit busy. If the cars don't drive too fast, we can blast our horn at them. Ah, uh, you see. We can get angry with the other traffic. And one thing I've noticed is, although the traffic is quite well done, there are some atrocious drivers. They will pull out in front of you and crash into you and then really hold things up. So if things like this happen up here, we're going to have to go around them. Alright, parking brake. Is anybody going to move here? I think they're, yeah, they are going to move. Good. That could have been terrible. Okay, he's going to just drive, or she is going to drive directly in front of us. Are you going to try it too? You blithering idiot. Look what you've just done. Well, at least the game recognised it wasn't my fault, because it would have given us uh, a fine. Terrible, terrible drivers. Right, let's change lane. Go back into a slow lane. I've just been penalised for red light running. That's because I stopped because of the other person pulled in front of us. That's not very fair. You see, this is uh, this is where you got to bear in mind it's an early access game. So things will be improved. That will probably be fixed. Um, but yeah, I, I literally just bought this game. It's not sponsored. So anything I say about the game is going to be fair. I'll say exactly what I feel. Um, but obviously it won't be too harsh because it's a, it is a fairly good game. So far I can already see that. It's just, 
I think there's going to be a few teething problems, but as it is early access, things will always be improved. Right, we're still on the right track here, so that's good. But we mustn't be too early for the driving school. Uh, we need to get there after, well, between 1328 and 1329, ideally. Oh, this is the driving school. Oh, I think what you can do, actually, is pull over, but not open the door. That way, you don't get a fine. So if I just wait here, leave him stood there thinking, hmm, why is this driver not opening the door? Then we should just get the fare and uh, obviously avert the fine, which would be good. In fact, we can take a look at the people in the back while we're waiting. Hello, hello. She's thinking, who is this driver? He's rubbish. Everybody else is just not interested at all. We can also take a look at the scenery, which actually, again, looks quite good. I'm quite impressed by it. And look, the traffic doesn't just sit behind you blasting their horn, they do actually overtake you, which is nice. I don't know where this is supposed to be, I'm guessing it's Ukraine or somewhere, I'm not entirely sure, possibly Russia? I don't know. Right, we can open the door in uh, 40 seconds. Look at him, you can just see him outside waiting. He'll be thinking, one of these days the door will open. Well, his luck is about to change, because it is going to open in 5 seconds time. Prepare yourself. Hopefully it doesn't hit him in the head. Ah, oh, good. Now he's not even going to get on. Come on. Oh, somebody wants to get off after all that. Oh, and we got paid too. Good. Let's continue. We are gathering our points. Oh, a speed bump. Sure, we're on the right track. We are good. We'll continue to Redbridge. I don't know if it is a Redbridge or if it is just called Redbridge. Now you can play this with a steering wheel and pedals, which is probably better. I'm just playing with the keyboard, so that's why it's sort of uh, well, the steering is very uh, jumpy because it's obviously self-centering. I think we just keep going straight on, as far as I can tell. going. So, oh no, it does have quite effective brakes. People do just tend to brake in front of you. Seemingly unnecessarily. Yeah, straight over the lights here. In a way I hope they change because we are slightly early. I mean, we're 30 seconds off. Oh, they did change. Good. And now I can't see the lights. That's better. The car in front of me has actually stopped, but it's beyond the line. I've got to say, actually, to the developers and publishers, I think their price is very fair. Like, I would expect this game to be uh, priced between the price it is at and £15. So I think it is a very fair price. But you would expect it as it is an early access game. going to be perfectly on time, which makes a change. And we don't have to wait. Alright, do you want to get on, or do you want to get off? Anybody? Obviously you don't want to get off, you're waiting there, but yes. Anybody want to get off? No? Okay, off we go. Welcome to the Daggerwind bus, where you have a very terrible experience of bus driving. Because my driving of a bus is clearly rubbish. So where should we go to now? Let's go to Gorky Go Street. How are we doing on the Dagwin bus? Everybody happy? Good. I'll take it that the uh, lack of response was uh, a sign of enjoyment and excitement and all that. Good. Um, you can zoom in too, so you can see the hazards ahead. Look, somebody with hazards. Oh, it might be the police. I'm not sure. Please don't break. Please don't break in front of me. 
So this, I think, is, yes, Gorkago Street. Uh, that was not good. But we're going straight over. There are a few different bus stops, but there is only one for us. And we're actually early again, but we're very close. Oh wow, this one's busy. This one is very busy. I've mounted the curb. For ease of access. Is it time? Uh, almost. Let's watch everybody get on. Hello folks, welcome to the Dagoin bus. I can tell that you're not really too pleased with my service. On we get. Ooh, identical people. Good. We took a good fare there. Next we're going to a hotel. The mirrors do work as well. Wow. He must be feeling well. Unless he is a wall enthusiast, I don't know. The hotel is a minute and a half away, roughly. I think the sky is well done. And the buildings. Now where do we go here? Straight over? It looks like we do. Whenever I get to a set of lights, I always just park up and put my handbrake on, and then the lights change to green. It's what always happens in ETS2 and everything. I don't know why. I guess it's a good thing, it means we don't have to wait. Hmm, there's a bus stop up here. And it is the hotel. Uh, so we're 30 seconds away, we're actually running on a good uh, time here, we're actually uh, sticking to the schedule quite well. You lot are all going to have to wait outside. Because we've got to wait as well. Until the computer says, it is time to open the door. They have 10 seconds to wait, and they're getting restless. Is it time? His shoulder is in the way. It is time, good. On we get. Once again, welcome to the Dagoin service. Hopefully you enjoy your stay here. We've got a bus fare, that's good. I think everybody's on. If not, they were too slow. Off we go. So this time we're going to Krupskoy Street. I've got to say, it really is busy. Really busy today. We're due here in a minute and a quarter. Looks like we're sticking on the main road for most of the time. And we have come across a slow driver just here. Keep going. This is, uh, yeah, this is our place. Was the one? Did I just run a red light? Seriously. There must have been. I just drove through a red light. How embarrassing. Too busy looking at the upcoming bus stop. Wow. That looks cramped. You're going to have to wait, I'm afraid. Climb aboard. The identical people are getting off. And we continue our journey. Yes, Russia. This must be Russia. Still just as cramped. I don't know how long this journey is. I think the last place, Lenin Square, is our final stop. I think it is. Uh, but we'll soon find out. We're off to Revolution Square. Oh, which is here. 
We did that too quickly. Far too quickly. Once again, welcome to the Dagwin bus service. Sick bags are provided at the front. <laughs> okay, that might be taking you a bit too far. Um, everybody on, everybody off. More people off, I would say. I oh, know, three on, three off, I think. I don't know, goodbye. Let's go. We've got a bus fare. It's always good. Yep, so this is our final two. These are our final two destinations. Uh, the final one being at 1343. We're actually doing very well. We have 440 points. Except things have gone badly wrong. Because for some reason, I think it's the police who are blocking the road. And we've just driven past them. They really are a happy bunch. They must be enjoying the service, I suppose. Most people don't want to be seen. They're hiding their faces. Come on. These lights are slow. Come on. Getting impatient. We are the impatient bus driver who has to stick to a schedule anyway. They are extremely slow. There we go. It's the happy bus. I really don't know why the road is blocked behind us. Ninety nine P for all that food. Got a play area. Many things. Oh, that's strange. It just spawned in the middle of the road. Now he's driving dangerously. Hopefully that'll get fixed. Well, wherever the next place is, I think it's up here, we're due there in 30 seconds time. So surprisingly, for my first attempt, except for the training, We've managed to stick to the, uh, the schedule fairly well, although it isn't over yet. It could go horribly wrong. I wonder if there's like a statistic page at the end where it tells you what your driver uh, skills were like. For example, passenger comfort and stuff. Passenger comfort is probably terrible because I've just braked really heavily. Let's see how many people want to get off. Uh, right, okay, that pretty much summarises my driving skills. Oh well. Goodbye. Come back soon. That's pretty much everybody. Right, one last place. Which is just up here. Hopefully nobody else turns in front of us. I think, yeah, the uh, Lenin Square is left up here. This is the end of the main street. So we must end up in a, well, in a square, you would have thought. Try and get through these lights. And then, yeah, this is the square just here. But we're still early, because we are so efficient. We are the efficient bus service which provides no passenger comfort at all, due to our speedy delivery of people. And here we are, the final destination. You can see the green line finishes here as well. So I'll turn the engine off as we're terminating. And I won't actually open the door yet, again, because of the same reason. We only have uh, 20 seconds left to wait, but there's only two people left? Oh no, there are a few. Five? Five people. Right. I suppose the question is, who wants to get off? Everybody, I hope, because we're terminating. 
Off you go. That concludes the Dagoin bus service. Come back soon. Yay. Good. Everybody's dealt with. That should conclude our mission. Unless you have to take it home. No. You have successfully collected enough amount of money. Route completed. So do we get a summary of all of this? It would be good if we do. Okay, we don't, but who knows? Maybe on here. You can see we've done it, because now the bus station, railway station one has to be done. Um, this one has a goal. We're not going to do it straight away, but this one does have a goal of collecting 300 coins uh, by the end of the uh, the trip. You go through the, uh, the Borisov Highway. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting one. But... I think as a starter that one was quite enjoyable. I do like it. Anyway, that is just a taster of Bus Driver Simulator 18. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.